Good morning from day 12. We are unintentionally chasing a sunrise, but uh, we're trying to make it into, uh, we're going to make it into um, the NOC, I'm trying to get there early, um, early enough. Get a shower, laundry, a bunk, because I guess they're first come, first serve. But it's only like 11.3 or 11.7. The video certainly won't do it justice. But this moon is very cool looking this morning. Orange, full. Mountains are blue behind it. And we were hoping that we'd find another spot for when this sunrise happens. But these clouds down here are awesome. And it seems like a taste of what the Smokies are going to be like in just a couple of days. Okay, so today I'm a summiter because, yeah, because we were chasing the uh, sunrise and we got it. So that was Rocky Bald. Let's show you these cool clouds. A taste of the Smokies. So we're heading back and making our way to the NOC. We've been on a very, very long downhill since that sunrise this morning, which was expected because our ascent was only like 1200 or something, and the descent was 4986. So, I knew there'd be a long walk down, but it just doesn't stop. It's fine. The knees feel good today. Uh, so, it's not an issue. It's just down, 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 and more down. But that's good. Because either way, it's progress. And working our way into the NOC still. Gap. This is a cool little view from Teleco Gap, even though the tower is there. And I hear buzzing. Yeah, decent view. Moving on. Going up. So we went the wrong way, climbed all the way up this old dirt road up to the top of this thing and you know I was behind Jack's getting a video of the view from that cable tower and uh, I just followed him up here. It's the wrong way, Be careful. So we're going to go back down because the trail is down in there somewhere. And I've been out of water for a little while, so this climb was up to what I thought was water. It is not. So we need to go back down and uh, do that again. So, yeah. I guess, you know, I should have paid attention too. But with the blazes that I noticed, it... Uh, very well could have been up here. And we passed some uh, locals, it looked like, that were coming down from here. And uh, 
they didn't say anything. So thanks to them for that also. So we're going down, try to find the right one. And we found the trail and it was pretty obvious once we got back down there. But uh, so yeah, that's on both of us. Uh, and we'll just need to pay a little better attention and uh, you know, both be on the lookout or everybody be on the lookout, whoever you're hiking with. And uh, yeah, avoid uh, an unnecessary half mile walk uphill. And then a steep downhill to go all the way back. But it'll be good. Water should be up here and uh, we're back on track. All right, so from the corrected area to the water was normal walk. A little bit after that was normal walk. And then a couple of steep, steeper um, switchbacks. But, where is it? We are almost to the Wesser Bald Lookout Tower. Just about to the top. So it's gonna pay off here in a minute. This is the Wesser Bald Lookout Tower. fire lookout tower behind those trees and continuing our way down to the Nantahala Outdoor Center the NOC um, we've got like 535 uh, foot of ascent still to do but 3,386 feet of Descent on the way over six point, I think it was four miles. So, with declines like this, which you can't tell, I'll put it kind of even, it'll happen fairly quickly. But, uh, yeah, weather's turning good, clear skies. Um, the weather that I could get for up to date pulled the Franklin weather and it said it was still 31 over there. Uh, oh, where we're at, you know, it's chilly. Can't see my breath. I wouldn't go calling it 31, but it's still early in the morning, kind of almost 10. So not really early, but uh, it feels better than that. So we are Keeping on moving. Been doing a little bit of ridge walking here, which is cool. We haven't had a ton of it so far, but I tell you, on a nice day like this, it is quite enjoyable. <clears throat> We're done. The base layers, almost shorts weather and short sleeves, but not quite so we are uh, still continuing on there's probably oh I don't know five miles left for the day and then we're gonna get a couple bunks some food shower laundry not all in that order maybe and uh, hang out for the rest of the day 
definitely wouldn't want to slip off the trail and go down into that or anything. There's been quite a few times where the trail has been right on the edge with uh, either a steep drop off or this, a bunch of just brush in the way. But uh, yeah, we're uh, still about four and a half miles, but not much ascension left. Still quite a bit of descension. So, carry on. Very cool. Almost there. Very good. Would recommend. Got food. We're gonna get pizzas a little bit later, but got a couple things from the outfitter. Now, waiting on laundry. In there but the other day I had my uh, little clip break so I found one of these Sea to Summit ones in the outdoor center and it was not overpriced so I bought it repaired that and got a towel because anybody with the uh, Z-Pax duplex knows that uh, condensation inside the tent is a real thing so waiting on that and then we're gonna go get showered up and order a couple pizzas and uh, hang out for the night